Hey guys, uh, today I'm going to break down uh, different various car logos. Uh, I'm going to start with car logos and then I'll be moving on to different subjects. Uh, this is going to be one long project that's probably going to be never ending. Uh, but I am going to do this. I feel like I've been charged with doing this. Uh, but anyways, I'm going to get right into it because I don't have long. i got 15 minutes. Uh, we'll start with the Alfa Romero logo. Uh, very clearly you can see a serpent king devouring a what appears to be a human. Um, so when we do some research on this, we come up with Apophis, uh, an ancient Egyptian mythological demon in Greek known as Apophis. His other uh, name is Apep. Apep. Uh, is an evil god in ancient Egyptian religion depicted as a snake, a serpent, and a dragon. Where have we heard that before? And uh, thus the opponent of light, uh, Mayat. And uh, Mayat is the one who set the order of the universe from chaos. Order from chaos. Uh, this is uh, stuff the initiates go through, this type of uh, information, which is available for anybody. Um, also in this, we have the 99942 Apophis, a near-Earth asteroid, which if you go through and you read this, it becomes very clear that this story is telling you, uh, or this uh, meteor is telling you a similar story to what can be found in your scriptures if you are in fact reading the Bible. Um, it says that there's a 2.7 percent chance that it would hit Earth and we know that when they say there is a small chance there's a great chance because this is uh, if history repeats itself we know because they've told us the last two weren't going to hit and they did. Um, but anyways if after you start reading this you start to see just how prophetic this is because it says that Apophis would pass through a gravitational keyhole a small region no more than about 800 meters about a half a mile wide and you think about the key to the bottomless pit well what is a bottomless pit where is the bottomless pit uh, the bottomless pit would have to be space uh, there is no bottomless pit on earth um, the bottomless pit the never ending pit is the infinite space so that would be uh, a key uh, evidence for the uh, scriptures that say that uh, the key to the bottomless pit and they're using quite a lot of different references here it, it says that after it passes through this keyhole it would set up a future impact exactly seven years later to the day seven years later it could possibly be a seven year tribulation period. I don't know. I'm not here to make stuff up. I'm just pointing out the obvious. There are seven years in between these dates. Um, but anyways, I know I'm getting a little too in depth with this one logo. So we're just, this will probably be the, uh, the, the most breakdown of any of the logos that I'm going to do. Um, and this is a character in Stargate. Uh, they always tell you these things. And the only thing that I really thought was uh, super interesting here was the symbol of Anubis that they decided to use for the Stargate uh, show is very similar to the Patriots uh, NFL logo. Moving on. Audi, uh, or Audi, however you want to pronounce it. Uh, the symbol here is the chain, and when you break the chain, you re release the beast. Um, and it's also forming two eights, or two infinity logos. And right on the logo itself, we have the six that's been reversed, and you break the chain, and you get three sixes. Um, and this one is more or less either you see it or you don't, and if you don't, that's fine. It could be two ways as well. It could also be nines. And the reason why I say it could be nines is if... Uh, well, let me break that down for you. Um, the golden triangle, the pentagram, 
what I noticed when I was reading about the pentagrams was that every angle in here is equal to nine um, all of them and so that made me want to look at the angles more in depth of the uh, the pentagram itself and what I found was pretty startling and then it led me into something else that was pretty startling and I'll get into that in a minute uh, 144 degrees 1 plus 4 plus 4 equals 9 36 degrees 3 plus 6 is 9 72 degrees 7 plus 2 is 9 108 degrees 1 plus 0 plus 8 is 9 and 180 degrees <clears throat> and the pentagon is comprised of 36, 108, and 36, and there's five of them going around the uh, pentagram. So when you add those numbers together, you get 108, which 1 plus 8 plus 0 is also 9. You multiply that times 5, which is how many is here, you get 900. 9 plus 0 plus 0 is 9. There are 508 degree angles within the pentagram, or within the, pen um, within the pentagon, within the pentagram so you multiply that times 5 which also 1 plus 0 plus 8 is 9 you multiply that times 5 you get 4 uh, excuse me 540 which 5 plus 4 plus 0 is 9 you add those two numbers together you end up with 1440 which is how many minutes there are in a day and 1 plus 4 plus 4 plus 0 is 9 so 9 is a pretty significant number also you can see this in the hexagram you have three 60 degree angles which equals 180 1 plus 8 plus 0 equals 9 times 6 is 1080 which 1 plus 0 plus 8 plus 0 is 9 you have six 120 degree angles within the hexagon which equals 720 degrees 7 plus 2 plus 0 is 9 you add those two numbers together you get 100 or excuse me 1800 which is 1 plus 8 plus 0 plus 0 equals 9. So this led me to look at the number 9 more closely and uh, what I saw was pretty startling. It uh, doesn't end forever. It equals 9. Um, and once you get into the triple digits you have to add the first two numbers and the second two numbers and that's how you'll break it down. Um, if you want to try that on your own you can see it for yourself but I stopped at 15. I was like that's enough. Uh, that's enough for me. Uh, getting into the logos for uh, Chrysler and um, Mercedes, which I believe are owned by the same company. I might be wrong there. Um, you just simply invert it and you get the golden ratio. And if you were to continue this pattern, you would end up cross uh, crossing these uh, different various points. And I'll show that in some other logos. The Dodge logo pretty obvious. Uh, we have a pentagram with Baphomet sitting right in the middle. Um, I actually got carried away with this one. And to check our math we can throw the Chrysler logo which is also uh, the same company basically as Dodge. You can throw that right in the center to check your math. And the Viper. Uh, BMW, this could be one of two things. I know I said before that it was the Sun Cross but it could also be Earth. As you can see with the astrological symbols that we have, uh, it could definitely be Earth. And there is truth in language. I've said this many times. Uh, women are from Venus. Men are from Mars. Men are from Mars. Women are from Venus. The logos themselves are pretty much telling you uh, there's truth in language. The ancient Egyptian uh, sun god, which uh, you'll see here, two serpent-like beings worshiping this sun sun god, or the depicting of a sun god, uh, and of course we see that with Bentley, Chrysler, Aston Martin, and the Mini Cooper, which could also be uh, Saturn. Uh, it, I leave myself with a question, and that is, uh, is it the winged disc or the ringed disc? Because um, rings could ultimately look like wings if you looked at it that way. 
We have the Tree of Life of Maserati. Uh, and on the Tree of Life, I wanted to, uh, to point out some of the symbols that we have. Uh, we have the cube, the cross, the pentagram, the hexagram, the triple diamond, the peace logo or the crow's foot, and the interlocking cubes or the chain. Uh, that's some of the things. Mitsubishi uh, simply just turned the logo upside down on itself and uh, we get the same thing yet again. And uh, take this time now to break this down uh, as much as possible. Uh, the Triforce of Zelda or the Sierpinski, Sierpinski Triangle uh, which is a never-ending pattern. This will go on until you get into the microscopic level. Uh, it's just another one of those infinite symbols and the cubes of course within the cubes. The hexagram within the hexagram infinity. Uh, Hyundai this is a very interesting logo because it took me a while to get this but after I looked at it long enough I said that looks fairly similar to the universal hexagram uh, it's a symbol used by Aleister Crowley uh, and it resembles a Masonic square and compass and bow tie may be represented as XX or XXX um, and I broke it down into two uh, very easy to see uh, pictures here. Very, you just superimpose this on top of this and you'll end up with this. Uh, but I broke them down separately so that you could see this. All I did was copy and paste the uh, breakdown onto this page. And this is where you sit. And when you're looking, uh, when you're sitting in the car and you're looking, this is actually backwards, um, the back emblem looks normal according to where your view is and where you're looking and the front emblem looks like this backwards because if you could see through your steering wheel and everything and see the logo if you could see through all that metal the logo would appear like this from the back side from which you're looking at it and the back logo would look like this um, and when you superimpose those you end up with the unicursal hexagram and this has nothing to do with cars, but I'm just showing you how this golden ratio is being put right in front of your face in multiple different instances. Um, I just I simply started from the outside and I used the center of each one of these uh, different colored triangles uh, for my starting point, and then I worked my way towards the center. And what I saw was pretty startling because if you'll notice. Uh, each one of these points where everything is intersecting is right where the lines change and right here where these lines uh, meet it forms the curve of where the uh, black and the yellow are separated very interesting and uh, I just drew in some of the symbols today uh, IX of course is 9 in Roman numerals XI is 11 Saturn and the reason why I say it's Saturn and not the Sun is because we have the hexagram right there in the center and of course the pyramid and how I got that was just drawing a line from here uh, to here and you'll notice that uh, this triangle is black and this triangle is yellow and this triangle is black and this triangle is yellow and this triangle is black and this triangle is yellow and I think that has something to do with the checkerboard pattern the good and the evil and the choice that we all have to make Saline, uh, again, 666 all day long. Six thick, six thin, six thick. And of course, if you invert that on top of that, you end up with a hexagram, uh, six stars. And of course, you'll have to picture the sun right here as if you're looking, at, as you're, you know, as if the sun was right here and you're looking outwards. So it would be one, two, three, four, five, six and Suzuki and Datsun which is made by uh, Nissan which leads me to my next question are they talking about Datsun or are they talking about Saturn because that appears to look like Saturn uh, part two I'll be dealing with box stores and store logos in general um, but I've got some other things that I want to do in between that so I got my work cut out for me thanks for listening guys